Didn't know Eileen had sent a card. Cheeky cow, like we want to hear from her. David, we got cards of fallen neighbours. Well, she's more than a neighbour, Nick. Is she? Oh. Here we are. I think we should ration this today, you know. I can't remember if there's uh, anywhere to spend a penny in that church. <laughs> Thanks, Audrey. Ta. Everything all right? Yeah, fine. Except Sarah's refusing to get up. She says she's not going to the funeral and we can all go without her. You joking? Oh, poor little thing. David, how many times have I told you you eat your breakfast at the table? What does that matter today, Gail? Well, if you don't mind picking up the crumbs, then don't let me stand in your way. Ma'am, will you have a word with her? Oh, Gail, we can't force her to do so much she doesn't want to, even if it is the right thing. Oh, go on. See if I can tempt her with this cup of tea. Do you need a hand with anything, Gail? Uh, no, I've, uh, I've just got sandwiches to do. Come on. Four hands will be quicker than two. Yeah. OK. She will go watch you, man. She can't miss her own son's funeral. Yeah, of course she'll go. Wish I had your confidence, Martin. It's just I'm going to ask her if I could carry a coffin. What, all on your own? Yeah, you want my nephew. Well, it's a nice thought, that, David. Yeah, it's a lovely thought, David. But I think the reality is going to be a bit much for you. Well, I'm just as strong as you. I can carry Barney's hutch, no problem. Uh, David, no disrespect, oh, but... don't be too hard on him, Nick. David, your emotions are going to be all over the place today. I don't even know I could do it. But somebody's got to. Yeah, well, um, we'll ask the undertaker. We're going to have enough to deal with. Actually, I'll do it. It'd be an honour. Shouldn't the, um, baby's father be carrying the coffin? Todd gave up any right to that baby the minute he dropped Sarah for another man. Yeah, too flipping right. It turned the funeral into a laughing stock. Well? Any luck? She's adamant. Oh, Gail, what am I gonna do? You all right, mate? Decided to go then. So the father would have been if I didn't. No one's forcing you, love. Mum, I never even held him. I never even said hello. Never mind goodbye. I never even told him I loved him. I know. It's just uh, I've got this knot in my stomach that like something bad's going to happen. Something bad did happen. I lost my son. I'm, I'm just worried that the plats are going to kick off. You know what they're like. And I know I shouldn't care, but funerals are supposed to be dignified. If you show your face, they might turn this into a bun fight. And I know that Billy was your son. But you're mine, Todd. And I don't want to see you any more upset than you already are. I'm just getting everything ready. I'm up to my elbows in coleslaw. Oh. Look, Sally's bought a cake. Well, actually, it's a roulade. Hello, Sally. Hi. I heard you were putting on a bit of a spread, and I had this going spare. Black Forest roulade. It's a nice one. It's from that freezer place on Balaclava Terrace, so it's not cheap. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll put it on the table. Yeah. Make some room for it, Gail. What's that? Oh, Sarah, I can't begin to think what you're going through at the moment. So you brought me a cake? Well, actually, that's... Well, why didn't you just bring some balloons and party poppers while you were at it? Sarah! Um, I'll go to... No, I'll go. Kevin said this was a mistake. I should have listened to him. Nonsense. No, come on. We appreciate it so much, Sally. No, it's just Sarah. She's got it into her head. She's not coming to the funeral. Why not? You tell me. Hiya. Cheer up, love. It might never happen. Sarah. Just get lost, will you? Sarah, I think it's time you start getting ready for the service. Leave me alone. No. Sarah, if you miss today, I swear you'll live to regret it. Oh, you're getting off on this, aren't you? You're such a drama queen. Sarah, that's unfair. Like, I care. <clears throat> I remember when Princess Diana went. I know this is going to sound a bit daft, but I don't know. I always felt that if we'd met, she'd have been my pal. She believed in the underdog. You 
It hit me ever so hard. I took myself off down to London, camped out near the Abbey. The atmosphere was amazing. The sea of sleeping bags. She touched all our lives, see, and we all wanted to say goodbye. I can say goodbye. Fear. It weren't right the way she went. It was way before her time. The flame blown out when it should have gone on burning. And I know it doesn't seem right for you. I mean, at least she had 30 odd years, Billy didn't even see 30 days. But Sarah, the reason I think it hit me so hard with Diana, listen to me, first name terms, was that I always felt she'd have fought me corner. My mum and dad never did, but but she would have. Got no fight left, Haley. I should I can't face it. Who knows? Maybe if Billy had lived till till he was thirty odd, he'd have made an impact and and been celebrating and thousands of people would have lined the streets of Weatherfield to say goodbye, but they didn't. There's only an handful met him and even though he wasn't here for very long, I still think his life's worth celebrating. Don't you? I'm so scared though, Haley. I feel like a little kid. Only I'm not supposed to feel like this today. I'm supposed to be someone's mum. I'm supposed to be grown up. And all I want is someone to put their arms around me and tell me it's gonna be okay. We all feel like that, no matter how old we get. I bet Gail feels like that. I bet Audrey feels like that. But we get on. Sometimes we just have to. Sarah? Hey again. Sarah's a bit upset. Is it any wonder? Must have been wondering where I got to. Well, I know now. You are fancy. Nice hot bath. Come on, well. I'll run you one with lots and lots of bubbles. Is the time? Yes. There is. Come on. Thanks, Haley. We're all thinking about you, Sarah. 